one of the most important things I would advise is, for example, if I were a student today, the first thing I would do is to learn AI. How do I learn to interact with ChatGPT? How do I learn to interact with Gemini Pro? And how do I learn to interact with Grok? And, and um, I, uh, these learning how to interact with, with AI is not unlike being someone who is really good at asking questions. You're incredibly good at asking questions, and and prompting AI is very very similar. You 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 can't just randomly ask a bunch of questions, and and so asking asking AI to be an assistant to you requires requires some expertise and and artistry and how to prompt it. And so if I were if I were a student today, irrespective of whether it's for uh, for math or for science or chemistry or biology or it doesn't matter what field of science I'm going to go into or what profession I am, I'm going to ask myself. How can I use AI to do my job better? If I want to be a, a lawyer, how can I use AI to be a better lawyer? If I want to be a better doc, a doctor, how can I use AI to be a better doctor? If I want to be a chemist, how do I use AI to be a better chemist? If I want to be a biologist, how do, how do I use AI to be a better biologist? And just as my generation uh, grew up as the first generation that has to ask ourselves, how can we use computers to do our jobs better? My generation was the first generation that had to ask the question, how do I use computers to do my job better? Remember, I came into the industry before Windows 95. Right? 1984, there were no computers in offices. And after that, shortly after that, computers started to emerge. And so we had to ask ourselves, how do we use computers to do our jobs better? The next generation doesn't have to ask that question, but it has to ask the obviously next question, how can I use AI to do my job better? That is start and finish, I think, for everybody.